Actor and activist uh, Patrick Shai has uh, passed away. His family confirmed the news this afternoon. Uh, Shai reportedly died at his Dobsonville home uh, in this morning. He's best known for his roles in the 80s drama Bopilo Kisimpejo, uh, Soul City, Generations and Zero Tolerance. Shai was also an activist against gender-based violence. He was nominated for a SAFTA in 2014 in the category of Best Supporting Actor for his role in A Scheme Sum and again in 2018 for his portrayal of Jacob Malloy in A Siavandalan. Let's speak now to a veteran actress, Nambi Tampumlana, who uh, will, uh, of course, uh, share her tribute uh, to uh, this veteran uh, actor, Patrick Shai, who she has uh, worked with uh, uh, as well. A very good evening uh, to you, Me. Thank you very much indeed uh, for your time. You're one of those uh, who would start with him in Ashes to Ashes alongside uh, this legend. Uh, your tribute to him this evening. I actually worked with uh, Patrick the first time was on Yuzo Yuzo. Can you imagine how many mm. years ago that was? Mm. So we've been friends for a very long time, he and I, and uh, he's been my husband a couple of times. So we we had um, a very tumultuous relationship, I must say, because, um, you know, in order to be able to work that closely together, you have to build a trust. And he was such a kid, and we played, we played together, and I mm. trusted him, and I, was, I had the privilege of being trusted by him as well. Mm. And after all this, and I remember, sorry, I'm, I'm at a place where I've got people around. You know, when we worked together on Generations, again, you know, the friendship grew. And by the time we were working together on Ashes to Ashes, mm. he was amazing. He was amazing. And a very, very giving soul. Um, he allowed me into his life. He allowed me into his family life. And I'm so sorry for Musadi Mahulu because she has lost a friend. And the kids have lost a dad. And the way that, how tragically that it happened, I cannot imagine how they feel. Mr. Hmm. Mbita, his work ethic, and I think I'll speak with this on conviction because very recently I also had the opportunity to share a room with him and where mm. he was trying to um, teach me how to read my script, uh, you know, <laughs> in something that is about to come up. Uh, that's not yet been shown on television and he was teaching me how to uh, you know act as myself uh, so convincingly talk to me a bit about that While telling somebody I picked else's that up story. So, it, it's unbelievable I, I was quite shocked yeah. when I heard this and how he was such uh, he, he took his craft so seriously we had uh, we were we, he and I were old school and he and I would be number one number two on different productions but we always played a similar role in that we, we had the culture of taking in and taking on young people and yeah. grooming them to take over from us. Mm. And that was our ethos, that there must not be a gap when we're gone. There must be somebody else to fill in, to, to, to maintain the standard and to carry the baton. And, you know, um, I, even being his peer, learned so much from him. I remember an opportunity that we were negotiating for working hours and we were negotiating, and this is after the generation saga, we were negotiating for working hours and salaries. And I was able to stand back and let him speak for both of us. And he was unafraid. And he taught me so much about that, you know, that we take turns in, 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 in the leadership and we take turns in guiding and we take turns in following and learning. He was such an amazing student as well as a teacher. Mm. His passing comes at a time where your industry has been very vocal about how it's been treated in terms of, uh, you know, COVID-19, the assistance as well that you've gotten as actors uh, uh, and, and actresses, those in the arts in this country. Uh, what would you say? Uh, his passing comes at a time where I don't think there is much... Uh, to celebrate within your industry at the moment. There seems to be a lot of unhappiness about how uh, your craft has been treated, even though everyone has been negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. I think, uh, I think the, the, the country, the nation, I want to put it, has forgotten who we are and what, uh, and what we bring to, to, to the world and to the nation and into your living rooms. 
And and uh, Shasha and I, we to just make a point of reminding people as much as we're acti- actors, but we're activists as well. And what we do in 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 in, in your life is I'm the person that keeps you, you know, uh, uh, keeps the doctor that's operating on your mother calm the night before and helps them to relax so that they can operate on your mother the next day. I'm that person. And when you disregard that, you forget the impact that I have. People think that, oh, I suka nam defy, you know, I can mm, do what you do. Mm, mm, mm. And now you say, and I'm grateful that you're saying what you're saying, that you actually discovered that there is a lot of work that, you know, that, that, that goes into what we do. Hmm. And we work very hard to make sure that it seem it looks seamless. Yes. But that's where the disrespect comes. That people think it is seamless. And he was an amazing advocate for uh, for actors' rights. Yeah. That you do not take us for granted. Hmm. Do not forget that we learn how to do this so that we can so that you can um, forget your troubles. So that you can relax, so that you can be the person that you need to be tomorrow, and forget mm. the troubles that you did, the, the, the difficulties the day that you had today. Mm. So it's a sad day losing him, but I feel in my spirit that, you know, because we're at a different stage right now, we're actually moving forward with the Department of Labor. I feel like I'm carrying his spirit with me in, mm. in that meeting coming up next week, mm. in that, you know, in his name, do something. Yeah. It should not be in vain. Thank you very much uh, indeed, uh, Mr. Mbita Mpumulana, for sharing uh, uh, that uh, tribute uh, with us indeed, uh, alongside uh, a veteran actress uh, such as yourself who's shared uh, uh, various uh, platforms with him. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us.